Alright guys, we are back for another round of the Third Age Total War. Back into the world where Isengard is currently reigning supreme and the wild men of Dunland like to cross me. Which is not so great for them because I have taken I I, I I've taken two of their cities pretty quickly. So basically what I hope to get done today is take at least Maybe two more cities. Possibly this one up here. Oh, that's a high elven large town. Jesus, they are very close together. They are incredibly close together. <clears throat> Not sure I like that, but... You know, the game dictates I go that way. So it's what I have to do. And if it means uh, wiping out Dunland... Because, you know, I have to take every city they have. You know, I might, I may even have to go down here. Because I do not want, want you know, Dunland constantly uh, harassing me as I make the march up here. So, yeah, I think I need to do a Rohan on him and just take him out completely. And that could take a while. I mean, it took 36 parts for me to clear out Rohan. And that was about half the size of Dunland, so... Yeah, it may take me a little bit longer to take out uh, Dunland, but I have plenty of time. Where, where is it? Uh, I have 10... Uh, 1,050 turns. 1,050 turns, that's plenty of time. It says here I've won 31 battles and lost 16 of them. That's, that's fair enough. You know? That, that's, that's a good number of battles to be winning. But, uh, I've lost a little bit more than what I would have liked, so... Anyway, we'll s we will, uh, ex in, uh... Well, that's, that's how not to speak. What I meant to say is we will inspect our new cities. And, um, yeah, unfortunately we cannot... Yeah, we can't recruit at the moment. But thankfully, seeing as these are Dunland cities, they're already with followers of Sauron, so there's no, you know, mass conversion, you know, to be done, which is pretty fantastic. So I will up the taxes of these cities, like so, well maybe not you. Yeah, you're 100% followers of Sauron, and you're not too happy that I have taken you over another faction that follows Sauron. Could have been due to the fact that I killed a lot of your people, that could be it, but... You know, if I were you, I'd be a little bit more grateful. I mean, I'm, I'm merging you into a successful empire here. I mean, Dunland, they're gonna crumble. Like, like pastry. They've no discipline in their units. They rout after, after they lose maybe 30 men in a 200-man unit. So, hmm, see what's on the agenda anyway. Where are my fire chores? Or I could probably do with sending them back to Isengard for retraining, but unfortunately we have this Dunland army in my way. And I have to assume they will attack, so... You know, I have, uh, I have regular stone walls, so my defenses, they're good. They're very good probably do win with an assassin actually. Yeah that would be that would be handy. I will only address you. There's only really captains around here so it could be good practice for the assassins to really, you know, to really get their uh, their stats up. Okay we're doing well enough on the uh, financial side of things but can we improve it? Well, if there's an increase in tradable goods, then that means there's an increase in income, so we will build that. The boar breeder will encourage population growth, so we will build that as well. More population means more taxes. And uh, we've nothing more to build here, so that's perfectly okay. What about you in Isengard? Coming down to the last building for Isengard. You have to wonder, I wonder does uh, Saruman live for, you know, a very long time? Because seeing as he is part of the Astari, he should, really. 
I mean, well, isn't like Gandalf thousands of years old? So, you know, Sar Saruman should not die of old age. Same with uh, the Witch King of Angmar, for that matter. But then again, if he dies, he just respawns. So, that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much settled already. Probably go for... I'll go for a temple, maybe. Get that conversion rate up. We have the Allberg down here. Can retrain these guys. War cages, catapult dark to probably go for the temple again. Edoras. Plenty of buildings to be made in Edoras, and that really does need to be Oh, no. No it does not. I've held it for so long that most of the people are already following Sauron, so... No, that's fantastic. What about you, Dunharrow? Nah, only 12%, so we need to get that uh, shrine up. And of course we have Gondor, you know, coming down upon us. And they'll only come through this uh, pass here, the Pass of Dunharrow. So, you know, I'll have to make sure Dunharrow is, you know, well stocked of uh, troops, and we can probably do that from Edoras, actually. Now I know that will make the people angry, which is why I'm going to uh, do this. There we go. It might impact on my finances a little bit, but it should not be catastrophically bad. Speaking of which, you can probably ignore that. I'll probably update back into the positive next turn. Let us, let us see what Dunharrow and or Gondor will uh, try to pull off here, if anything at all. They probably won't try anything too drastic. Then again, you know, if, if it's true Gondor are down to their last one, two, three, four, five settlements. So you can probably, you know, the Haradrim can deal with them. And the uh, Haradrim, they'll have a bit of a gap between their two sets of lands by Mordor. You have to wonder, you know, the Haradrim and Mordor could get into it, possibly. But I doubt it. It would take something pretty extraordinary for that to happen. You know, if I had a diplomat that was good enough, I could probably arrange the uh, conflict, but... Seeing as the factions are both evil, I don't think the script would allow them to uh, remain in open warfare. As you can see right here, Mordor want me to cease hostilities. Shedding the blood, fellow brothers. Yeah, well, they hold lands that I need. I may lose Sauron's protection. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all, actually. That's actually pretty fucking awful. To have the armies of the Radrum and Mordor, not to mention the elves, not to mention the other elves, not to mention Gondor, not to mention fucking Rune coming down on me. Yeah, I would not be able to handle that kind of pressure. I may even have to cheat, but you know, where is the fun in that? Should have uh, catapults now, and we do. Get ready for fighting. Now, catapults will make my sieges so much better. I have a couple of catapults in the army. Don't even have to build siege engines, I already have them. So, that's, uh, that's, you know, attacking on the same turn, which means I can't be hit from behind by an enemy army. Jesus, to Fallberg, I've, it's, I felt like I've had that for a hundred years and it's still not ready to be upgraded. A 1% population growth per turn. It needs to be 7,500 for it to upgrade. Jesus Christ. Just fuck already, population. Seriously, I'm allowing you. Just breed like rabbits. Allow me to build a castle here. I kind of need, need it, you know? Alright, Talsir is definitely doing okay. Alright, so we can probably end the turn again. Where? Okay, that's my guy. Shit, where am I sending him to? Oh, I've forgotten. Completely forgotten. He's at the Wahlberg, so... Yeah, I'm not sending him up towards Dunland. 
must be sending him up north to the elves, possibly. He is a diplomat. I don't know. I have not got a clue. I wonder what Mordor is up to. Right, well, Gondor still have a decent army in Kalimbul. And who's that family member right there? I'll have to send my diplomat over to check on that. Could be a prime assassination, you know, the target. It could be. Probably won't be, but it could be. God damn, these turns are so long. Alright, Rune, come on. Do what you gotta do. Harass whoever you need to harass, you dumb bastards. Candidate for adoption, Azog. The Defiler, maybe? Probably not. Could be, though, but it's probably not. He's an alcoholic. Well, you know, that's already kind of shot your chances down to the ground. You're, you may be loyal, you may be noble, you may be a knife fighter, but fucking hell. Minus three command, minus three authority, and five percent penalty on tax income. You may be 22, I could mold you into the greatest commander this world has ever seen. But seriously, you're an alcoholic. Fuck off. Rant out of the way, let's keep going. Making a little bit of a loss. Not great. I mean, could be just a ton of buildings just started, but... If I'm making a loss, then that is not very good at all. All the storehouse do. Okay, that'll increase food again. That's great. <sighs> hmm. Probably do with, uh... Yeah, I have a feeling they're not gonna move because they're on my roads. They're just gonna stay there. That That's annoying, that is. That's really annoying. I hate that. <clears throat> I'll hit the old M key, see what happens. There we go. Could probably do with getting a family member from down here, possibly. No sleeping here. This guy would do nicely. Send him up there with a little delegation to protect Talsir while I take the family member out from Talsir to do a bit of uh, raiding down the uh, down the coastline here. That would probably be my best bet. I'm going to have to keep Dunyard uh, stocked for the while because of this guy. Can get up there in, in uh, maybe three turns, maybe. I'll have to watch out for this guy though. I would hate to lose a family member in such shite circumstances. I'll take only two, actually. There we go, that'll help. Well, that should help anyway. Alright, I can get there in three turns. Hopefully I will not be intercepted on my way there. And we can probably move two of these guys down to Junior for protection. Then to turn again. And we'll just leave this guy go where he needs to go. Come on, dwarves, get your business together. There we go. <laughs> Tinker uh, in 1.6.2, the uh, some of the factions are renamed. Now again, if you want to, if you want me to move on to 1.6.2, you know, as you know, I have it set up so I can switch between the two freely. So. Uh, yeah, if you ever want me to do something with the latest version of MOS, just ask me, I guess. And I will probably take it into consideration. But know that I want to get this one done. And, you know, I've only taken out one faction, I am nowhere near done yet. Right, Radluck. Radluck. Promising, he's disloyal, you see, that's already shot his chances down. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna take him. And my trading post is closed, so I'll have to wait for another opportunity for one of those again. Here. Oh, the army's moved off from down here, which is great. 
means I can uh, restock juniors. And again, who is this? It's one man. Only one man. Could I get him to defect, actually? You shall listen to your proposal, Bribe. do not expect me. I could, pos I could possibly do it. Make the offer. No, we cannot agree to this now. Right. Probably Good need more you. money. Without question, my lord. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that is not good whatsoever now, is it? Uh, Haradrim, if you could be a tiny bit faster with your exterminations, if you could kill a lot more Gondorians than you are currently doing, then that would be amazing, because... Gondor seem to mean business right here. How they have the fucking infrastructure to support this, I don't know. Because with the amount of cities I have, I don't have a lot of money. How they have a lot of money to support this, it's beyond me. Yes, my lord. And I can't talk to them for this turn, that is bad. Hmm. It's only a wooden castle. But then again, it is a castle, so it's uh, made for defense. And hopefully that's what I can do, is defend it. And if I should lose it, then kill as many Gondorians as I can so I can just retake it straight away from my forces in Edoras. You know? That's the, that's the beauty of having two cities close to each other. It's that easy. Alright, let's try ending one more turn. We need to get this guy in here quickly. In terms of building, not much going on there. Well, we could probably, uh... Warg breeder. Yeah, John will try it. Alberg, stop finishing there. Wahlberg, stop finishing there. And I have absolutely no lands here to the east, so end to turn. We shall listen to your proposal, but do not expect. Yeah, I suppose he came up here for peace, but there's no like point, is there? Even then they don't want it, do they? they? So yeah, the way the script is set up, you know, the second uh, I get peace, they just go back to war, you know, the next turn. It is a sad state of affairs, but it's just the way it is. Iron ore hasn't been reforged, actually, I don't think. It might have been in, like, the fifth part of this playthrough, I'm not sure, I haven't actually watched these. You know, because that would influence the viewing of it. But I don't think I've actually... I don't, yeah, I don't think I actually know, do I? They might have. But then again, I don't remember it. Yeah, I really don't remember it, actually. I'd have to have someone tell me that. But as far as I know, Arnor is not reforged at all. Oh, I had to annex it, right. That's why I was sending people up there. Too old. Go go away. Alright, so that's what I had to do, and I failed anyway. I was sending up a diplomat, that's what I was doing. And besides, it belongs to Mordor anyway. What yes. the fuck? You bring a proposition for my king. What the fuck's going on there? Why'd you want to... I suppose they did it themselves, I guess. Farewell. Jesus, I have Mordor lands bordering my own. It's pretty bad. Or it could be pretty good. Am I... Huh. Two grand. That's fucking terrifying. Guess another building must have uh, begun. Somewhere, because that is not my natural intake. Listen up! Still no movement from, uh, from Dunland. That can only be a fantastic thing. I'm still curious to know why there's a big black blob in the next Dunland settlement, if you can see it there on the mini-map. Could that be the influence that I have over them? Could it just be a graphical error? I haven't really read about it. You know, I haven't read about anything like that in the, uh, Moz forums, so I don't know. Hmm. 
It would be cool though if it was my influence kind of spreading throughout their lands. You know, if that was a thing that would be great because uh, I might be able to annex the settlement, you know, diplomatically. Come on, Rune, do your business, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Assassination. Ah, they want me to assassinate this fuck. Well, much obliged, Mordor. Much fucking obliged. I'll try my best.